Okay, we're going to be demonstrating egress analysis. We have this model from Vectorworks, a nice architectural model. Uh, the way we're going to do this is actually uh, first step in Salibri is to define what the exit doors are. So Salibri won't by default know which doors to use as exits. So we need to go up here and choose our classification tool. I'm going to drop it here. And we're going to do our exits classification. So we create an exits classification. Now really the, the main step is to go through the model and find the doors that should be used as exits. So for instance I'm going to grab this door here as one of those exit doors and we have a second one here underneath. Okay. So once we have those highlighted now we can go to our manual classification option we're going to make these exits. And we have two, two selected objects that we're going to choose as exits here. And we're going to go ahead and s assume those are the only two exit doors in this building. Uh, I'm going to switch to the checking view now. If we click the click to add rule sets option, we'll see that there is already a rule set here called egress analysis that we can load. Uh, we can look at the escape route analysis parameters and sort of learn uh, what it is we're checking for specifically. So we have some various options. We can choose what spaces we're interested in. In this case, we're looking at all spaces. We can define a travel distance requirement. So we could say, for instance, the total travel distance to an exit needs to be less than 100 feet. Same thing for occupancy. So we could say every space needs an occupancy of, uh, uh, of, of less than 100 square feet or more than 100 square feet per occupant. And then we can choose a start point. So do we want to start at the space's uh, door or within the space at the furthest corner from the door? And then we have various routing method options. Okay. So with our uh, uh, exit doors defined, we can now hit the check button. This pop up uh, exp explains what the egress rule is, is looking for. And now if we hit OK, we're going to run our check. Uh, in our egress or our escape route analysis line, it's going to show us any issues we have. Okay, and so we have several results that, that appear down here in the list. For the purpose of this demonstration, we want to just focus on issues on a specific floor. So back on the model tab, we can look and say we want to just isolate first story. And if we hit, hit the equal sign, now we can see that is what we're viewing in this 3D window. We can switch back to our checking tab. And now instead of saying no filtering, we want to say filter with selection basket. And now we're only going to see the issues that are occurring on that specific floor in this case. Okay, So we can see we have 13 spaces that do not meet our 100 uh, foot egress requirement. We can look at a specific space, for instance this bedroom. And we can also uh, see what the total travel distance to an exit is, in this case 120 feet. Uh, and of course that violates our requirement of 100 feet. Next step is going to be to report this information out. So we have a, of course, a space here that uh, we can clearly see the paths to egress. Uh, we can see the issue. Now we're actually just going to right click on this issue and say add slide. We can add our own comments if we want, or we can hit set default, which will just import the description of the issue for us. And now we're going to hit OK, uh, essentially rejecting this issue or uh, uh, marking this as an issue or a real problem, and creating a viewpoint and a comment associated with that issue. Once we've gone through the entire list, uh, we would go to our presentation tab, create a new presentation, and import our checking results. And here is our first slide. So uh, theoretically, we would have, you know, of course, 10, uh, 10 or 20 or 30 slides here. We could then hit the report button and save this out to an Excel file.